Here we go again. Order of protection one more time. Trying to sneak up on me while on the window. That guy in the blue um, badge, he's in on it. He was smoking and waiting for a signal. He's been there quite some time. And you, you notice that the high-tech surveillance monitor is focused light harassment. Oh, this is the reason. This is the reason for the distraction. Right here. This is the reason for the distraction. And look what she has. We all know what's in there. They're here for a reason. And that's to pick up white powder bags. They're not carrying the book bag. But it's in there. Trust me, they have it. That's the same couple last time. She was the driver. I'm video. And he was carrying a book bag. Now they're waiting for their ride. Instructions given not to use a book bag. And as, as you can tell... Two distractions, homeowner Martinez with the black car and the Dodge, the blue Dodge in the corner. Those two distractions toward my left to avoid recording these, these uh, couple right here. This is the main attraction of the day, folks. The candy man is working this side, 5132, and working the other side of the course where his uh, address is at, 5130. But again, this is not a regular um, visit. This is pre-planned to pick up a load of white powder bags. Instructions given not to use a book bag. So they, they have it on them. They have the merchandise on them. 
And she is exactly the driver, the same driver from last time. All right. Here we go. She's moving quickly. She's moving very good. That's the merchandise right there. She has it. You notice how quickly she went inside the car. Again, homeowner Martinez making his round again. Trying to distract me. There's a reason for the distraction, folks. Here he comes again. And now he's parking right there. Instructions given to park right there. Look, look where he's parked at. There's a reason for the distraction, and that was it, folks. They're trying to protect. Any exposure of this criminal activity organization. Again, the distraction, community gang stalking, order of protection, bright light harassment. Look how far he's parked. And there's plenty of parking all over here. Look at that. There's plenty of parking. But he's focused right there. Because the little girl right along should be coming. Anytime soon. And he's waiting for signal right there. He's the distraction. The little girl right along should be coming along. It's just a waiting game now. But this is the set. He's been driving back and forth, back and forth on video. And, uh, well, you noticed uh, how quickly the girl went inside the car. And the stuff that she was carrying was well wrapped. So that is white powder bags. And it's the same female, if you look back at the videos... At the one, I mean five, one, three, two. It's the it's the same. It's the, it's the same um, girl, and she was the driver, and she ran out of the car from the driver's seat to the passenger side, and he stepped in with the uh, heavy book bag on, on his back. So uh, now it's just a waiting game. He's, he's waiting for the signal. There's no reason for him to be parked there. All by himself. That far away. There's plenty of parking here. Look at that. He does not live over there. There's a reason for the distraction, folks. And the evidence is in. Uh, the little girl right along should be arriving anytime. Pretty soon. And... Uh, Organized crime family, uh, they understand the consequences of uh, any investigation. So they're trying to deter and distract me uh, from recording. And the order of protection is being provoked to stop me from recording. Here he is. Look how quickly, look how quickly he ran. And he was ready. He was ready. On command signal, um, high tech surveillance monitor, very aware of my location. And uh, he's hiding behind the trees here. And that helps uh, for cover. And he ran as fast as he could. And that's why I, I um, I zoomed out. I zoomed out so he won't sneak up on me and we, we were able uh, to uh, capture. <coughs> Excuse me. The reason for the daily distraction 
and the fear tactics and the bright light harassment um, is uh, to avoid uh, exposing this criminal um, organization. This criminal organization is, is real. Um, identity theft Medicaid, unsolved murder cases of identity theft Medicaid, victims are preconditioned at home to react. So, <clears throat> the evidence is in. April 21st, 2024, Sunday, 6, 11 p.m. Um, again, the candy man is working uh, both sides. Um, 5132, right here. 5132. And, um, of course, where he lives at, 5130. And the evidence of, um, look how far he parked. I mean, t take a good look. Look at all the parking. Look at that. Look at that. There's no reason for him. There's no, this is evidence. And you saw how he snuck up on me. That's evidence. And uh, the guy with the uh, with the blue dodge, he's still there. He's still there, right there. He stayed there, right there. He pretended he was uh, leaving, but he's inside the car as well, waiting for signal. And uh, again, that's for distraction purposes. Once the little girl right along um, arrives, uh, he's gonna go into action. So, here you go, folks. Unsolved murder cases of identity theft Medicaid. Victims are preconditioned at home to react. Uh, the same distraction techniques are used to manipulate victims at home, and the consequences are very serious under doctor's care. Um, reaction response from uh, daily harassment, community gang stalking, social acting, Extreme high level frequencies, constantly shocking the brain from any electrical source outlet. This is a high tech surveillance monitor. Uh, this is organized crime family secret weapon. It's able to um, send high level frequencies from any electrical outlet connected to a victim's brain. And the consequences are very serious under doctor's care. Uh, I appreciate your support. I'm waiting for the little girl uh, right along. But the main attraction here was this right here. Uh, 5132. Uh, the distractions that you see on the, on the videos before this one um, is was to cover up. Um, was for me to look away. And, um, but uh, I, how I find out these things? Well, uh, they have a pattern. I follow the pattern. I keep looking at, for some new things, and I know this, uh, uh, that they kept going here. They kept coming to this address, and then I said, wait a second. The candy man is working both sides. And, uh, well, there you go, folks. Uh, the evidence is all in. And, of course, homeowner Martinez uh, paid incentives, signed contract with homeowner uh, Martinez, wife, daughter, son, daughter-in-law, new cars. Uh, that black car right there bling, belongs to the hitman that lives in the basement, by the way. And they both dress alike um, for uh, to uh, fake to fake uh, people out, and nobody nobody will notice. But we have the um, the hitman is skinnier and. Uh, um, Homeowner Martinez's son is it's a little heavier and shorter. And uh, obviously he got long hair. But uh, yeah, there you have it, folks. Mission accomplished. They, they got what they were looking for. And the little, the, the woman that came out, um, she she was the one that was carrying the, the white powder bag. Uh, thank you so much for your support. Murder plot continues. Extreme high level frequencies coming from next door. 5135. Oh, look who came out. That's the kid with the book bag. The guy with the book bag.
Looks like he took a shower. He's taking it easy. Well, he's taking a shower, taking it easy, chilling. I'm still waiting for the little girl uh, right along, so we see what happens. But let me give you a quick uh, glimpse of what's going on here. Um, I covered up the windows a little bit, just like before. And the bathroom remains covered up. And the kitchen. As you can see, the kitchen as well. This is how organized crime family is able to manipulate their victims. And, of course, there he is. Oh, he hid. Look at that. You saw that? People hide for a reason, people. Look at that. On command signal, he slammed that door. Okay, gotta let you go. Waiting for the little girl right along. They should be arriving anytime soon. 